The tenth order of the day is, is a motion on need, on the urgent need to beef up security in all one federal constitution to mitigate against the increase in kidnapping activities standing in the now Honorable Professor Julius. Honorable Professor is invited to move the motion. Oh, um, member representing Owa Federal Constituency of those states. Mr. Speaker, I rise to move this motion on the urgent need to beef up security in Owa Federal Constituency to mitigate the increase in kidnapping activities. The House notes that Owa Federal Constituency comprising Owa East and West local government areas of Edo State is currently besieged by kidnappers, which now poses a threat to the peaceful existence and security of lives and property in the constituency. Also notes that as a border constituency with porous borders, bandits, kidnappers, and other criminals fleeing from the actions of Amoteku in Ondo State have now fled to Owa Federal Constituency to continue their nefarious activities. Further notes that abductions and kidnappings have become more indiscriminate across the two local government areas as criminal gangs view victims as sources of income and therefore sad to note that the villagers have been largely ignored by the government aware that if this spate of kidnappings and abductions are not nipped in the board, it will become that's the potential for crippling socioeconomic activities in the constituency. Aware that if the spate of have done that, also aware of recent reports by Bell magazine of April 14, 2021, that Dr. Blessing Aidenoge, a medical microbiologist, at Ambosali University at Do State was kidnapped along Ozala Sabo Road in Owa West local government area. While in another development, a council worker and his child were abducted along Sabo Zeba Road and whizzed up to unknown destinations. Also aware that Otoyewe Ogbe roads, as well as Woka Afuze roads in Owa East local government area, have become the operational grounds of kidnappers thereby making the villagers live in constant fear. Further aware of the, that section 14.2b of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, which provides that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. Alas, there have been numerous loss of lives across the country, likely due to lapses in our security convinced that proactive rather than reactive measures will go a long way in mitigating insecurity in various parts of the country. Results to urge the executive arm of government to come up with a holistic implementable strategy, including immediate recruitment of officers, deployment of personnel, support for vigilante groups and local hunters, as well as dialogue with critical stakeholders to immediately address the incessant kidnappings and abductions in our one federal constituency. Two, also urge the Inspector General of Police and the Director General of the Department of State Services to, as a matter of urgency, set up actions aimed at curtailing the incidents of kidnapping and banditry in our one federal constituency, as well as all over the country mandate the Committee on Police Affairs and National Security Intelligence to ensure implementation. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity. I represent the entire people of the Federal Dome, Bodhi Federal Dome, the Federal Constituency, and from Ocean State. I rise to second the motion moved by my honorable colleague, Professor Yunobiri. Those in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Against any. That's a bit. Motion to find